how can I stop my hair loss? Hair loss is, uh, should be consulted by a dermatologist or a hair transplant surgeon uh, before deciding a hair transplantation surgery because uh, in order to accept patient for a hair transplantation, uh, we, we want it's, it, it's becoming more stable. So there are some things that we have to evaluate the patient's condition uh, to understand the underlying causes and give the right treatment just before the surgery. And when it's stable, there is no hair loss, then we can do for the hair transplantation. Does hair transplant look natural? If you have your hair transplant in an experienced clinic, it will uh, absolutely look natural. Uh, there are some factors that the hair transplant team uh, consider to give you the best uh, natural look that you can have. So uh, not implanting the multiple roots uh, in the front and uh, give the uh, natural direction of the hair will uh, assure that you will have natural uh, look after the transplant. What's the alopecia areata? Alopecia areata is an autoimmune disease when your naive or innate immune cells attack the hair follicles. It causes the recession of the hair follicle, its inflammation and regression. Is hair transplant permanent? Hair transplants are mostly permanent uh, and the transplanted hairs will not affected by any future hair loss. But sometimes in order to uh, extract more numbers, uh, we, we normally extract the grafts from the safe donor area, but sometimes in order to get more numbers, uh, we, we extend the donor area a little bit more to get more numbers. So uh, out of safe donor area grafts are usually, uh, if there is a receding in the future, it may be lost within, within time. Uh, but usually we use those hairs in the front layer lines and if the patient has a receding, it will be resulted as naturally receding hairline. So yes, we, it's permanent, but in some conditions it's not permanent and it's temporary. Who performs the hair transplant surgery? The hair transplant surgeries are performed with the qualified medical professionals or the profession with the medical background. It can be physicians or doctors and surgical assistants who have a degree in any field of medical specialties like nurses, anesthesia technicians, paramedics, or operating room nurses. Who are Smile Hair Clinic's clients? People all around the world are our clients. The people who think that they will look better with hair transplant or have want to have some more hair are our clients. Our clients are uh, 90 persons from uh, United Kingdom and uh, Ireland right now. Uh, and uh, we start to increase in numbers from uh, States and Canada. And also we are uh, still getting high number of patients from uh, the other European countries. Which hair transplantation technique is, is the best? Hair transplantation techniques uh, are different uh, according to patients. A condition because in some con in some patients we prefer to do the sapphire blade microblade technique which is more suitable and in some patients we prefer to DHI. Both techniques are done in our clinic uh, about implantation technique but for extraction we are using only FUE which is called follicular unit excision. Uh, follicular unit after the follicle follicles extracted it should be implanted in two different ways. One is we do the incisions first, then we implant the grafts inside those incisions that we created, or in the other method, it's the DHI, and DHI is a pen, pen method that uh, the grafts are inserted in a pen and implanted in the same time in the doing in the incisions. So which is, take, which is better? It depends on patient's uh, need. In some patients, DHI is superior, and we are choosing it. In some patients, we are using the sapphire technique. Uh, in, in DHI, I'm, I'm mostly using this technique for the female patients or if the patients need in a particular area with non-shaven method. Uh, but in the sapphire technique, I think it's my daily practice uh, which I find better and superior to the other technique to uh, arrange the angle, direction and the incision density during my operations.
Is the hair transplant surgery a simple procedure? There cannot be a simple procedure. The only thing that gives us a good outcome of the surgery is good preparation and planning of the surgery. The better you prepare for the surgery, the better you evaluate the patients, put all the pros and cons, weigh them, and decide for the surgery, the higher is the chance of the successful surgery. Is hair transplant only solution for hair loss treatment? Uh, hair transplantation is one of the uh, solutions of the hair loss problems. If the patient's condition is uh, more bald areas in his respin side and it should be restored, yes, the hair transplantation is the only thing that you can just go for that. But uh, if the patient's condition with the existing hairs are thin, it's diffuse thinning, there is no space that we can do the hair transplantation, then patients should seek for uh, medical treatment before the surgery. But if there are gaps, if there are some areas that the transplantation uh, could be done, so transplantation and medical treatment should be uh, used by patient in order to have a good result in the future. Why are the rates of the FUEA transplantation are higher? In a general or daily basis, when we do the extraction and do an FUE procedure, we have the chance to separate all the good grafts classify them according to the number of the follicles they have and use them appropriately in the specific areas of the scalp. This good planning and classification of the grafts gives us a higher chance to implant them properly and with the higher rates of success. Can you use other people's hair for hair transplant? A hair transplant is an organ transplantation, uh, like kidney, like heart, liver transplantation or cornea transplantation. Uh, but of course those transplantations are different than the hair transplantation because they are more vital. So after those organ transplants we usually use immunosuppressive uh, agents for um, just pressing on the immune system uh, for, for, white, for vitality. But for hair transplant it's a cosmetic surgery so it's not necessary to do some, some kind of thing. Uh, so it could not be considered as uh, another organ transplantation from someone, uh, but in other organ transplants it is done widely. What is beard transplant? Beard transplant is transferring hair from a person's donor zone uh, on the face. Uh, if you do not have beard or some parts of your beard is missing, uh, we can uh, fix it by uh, transferring some hair on the face. After a couple of months, they adapt to the face and they act, uh, you, pe people really cannot understand that you had a beard transplant. The most important thing here is to uh, implant only singular hair. If you implant uh, multiple hair on the face, the result will look fake and people can easily understand that you had a hair transplant. What method is used for the bad transplant? Both surgical techniques, FUT, or nowadays it's called FUSS, it's follicular unit strip surgery, or an FUE is a suitable technique for the bed transplant surgery. Nowadays, more than 90% of the bed transplant are performed via an FUE technique. Why Turkey is cheap in hair transplant? Turkey is one of the leader country now in the hair transplantation uh, market. Uh, it, it, it happens within 10 years, but before that, uh, not only Turkey, all around the world, there were not so many clinics that were doing the transplantations. So uh, when there is more competition, you know, it's free trade economy, uh, that brings the prices to go lower. And uh, in Turkey, uh, within very, very uh, five years, maybe 10 years in time, there were many new clinics occurred because the, most of the doctors from the state hospitals or uh, public work, they become in the liberal uh, and they open their new clinics. So it, it, it brings the market to lower the prices because of the competition. But does it mean uh, the cheap hair transplant doesn't work? No, actually, it, is, it depends on uh, the clinic's experience about that. If, if the clinic has a good experience seeing thousands of patients around the world, uh, so what, what, what's changed within time is I think uh, not the technique, the, the experience is changed for us. Uh, for myself, I'm seeing thousands of patients all around the world, from uh, America to the Australia. So I'm seeing different ethnic backgrounds, different, different face types, different hair, 
uh, techniques. So that gives me to do the right transplantation. Uh, so uh, that the, 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 this market is becoming lower prices. It's just because of the competition. Which country uh, is the best for hair transplant? Istanbul, Turkey is the uh, capital of the hair transplant for the last decade. Uh, every year, over one million men uh, travel to Istanbul just to have their hair transplants. So uh, you can consider that Istanbul is the best destination for the hair transplant right now because uh, you will pay much more or less than you should uh, pay in Europe and US and Canada. And uh, the, on, on the other hand, you will have a much more better result after two years. What's the price of the hair transplant surgery in the United Kingdom? The price is vary across the clinics widely, but what we can see on online or through the internet sites or from the experience of the patients that have done or performed the surgery before in other clinics, it ranges from around four and a half up to the 15 to 20,000 pounds. Do some chronic disease affect the hair transplantation? Uh, patients should uh, inform the doctors or clinic just before the hair transplantation about their chronic diseases. For some, some diseases, we, we should know if it, it, it is interfered with the hair loss problems, with its chronic disease, even its progress, or sometimes diabetic patients or cardiovascular uh, patients. We should, we should know in advance about patients using some medications or if they have a chronic disease with uh, hair, hair loss problems. So uh, we should be notified before the surgery about that. And you should also consult your own doctor about if you should go to a hair transplant surgery. How can I choose the best clinic for my hair transplant in Turkey? You can go online and check uh, some pages online and see the other former patient's experience and send, you can see the results. And sometimes there are forms that you can connect with them and see uh, how the clinic is doing its job. So you can easily uh, find your way and navigate. And please be sure that uh, the clinic you will go is uh, run by doctors, not only technicians. Do we perform hair transplant with leg or arm hair? It's also called the body hair transplant. For the body hair transplant, we use the grafts or hair follicles from outside the donor zone areas, like birth, chest, arm, or leg. In our clinic, we do not perform an arm or leg hair extraction. There are some clinics that perform it, but their success rates are not that very high. Does hair transplantation leave scars? Uh, hair transplantation leaves scars in, in, in donor area, actually. But in recipient site, we do not expect scars because it's surgical incisions. But according to the donor area's extraction, uh, in, in some, uh, some approach uh, with higher numbers, that may lead more scars. But if it is very done, well, well done properly, uh, it may leave very minimal scars, but it will be not so noticeable with naked eye. Can hair transplant cause cancer? There is not a scientific evidence or a scientific investigation that it should, call, it should cause cancer uh, because actually I cannot imagine any reason that it should cause cancer. Can you have a hair transplant surgery if you are a diabetic? Yes, you can. But there is one huge point here. Your diabetes should be under control and your glycemic index called hemoglobin A one C should be below 7.2%. Do you perform eyebrow transplants? Eyebrow transplants is one of the uh, best solutions if a person lost uh, existing eyebrows. Uh, it's much better than and uh, it's much better and efficient than the uh, tattoos and gives it gives a much uh, more natural look. What do you do for the existing hairs? Uh, for existing hairs, we do usually we, we want to keep them during the surgery because um, even we, we take most of the grafts from the donor area, uh, patients, in, if, if, we, if we protect the existing hairs and if we just increase the cumulative thickness in the recipient side, that's a, a positive thing for the patient because for, for the reserve for future, he may need another transplantation, so it will be a more conservative approach. So we, in our clinic, we want to keep the existing carriers. We are using extra magnifiers for 
uh, identifying the existing hairs and we want to protect them. Sometimes in some conditions, if it's baby hair or if it's terminal hair, yes, it could be implanted over it, but otherwise we just want to do uh, the implantation with uh, keeping the existing hairs. What's the density of the incisions or implantations during the aid transfer surgery? Or what's the best ratio? Just like in any other questions we have mentioned before, it's very individual, but there are average numbers. Good density is when 40 to 60 incisions per centimeter square is done. Medium density is 30 to 40, and low density is 20 to 30 incisions per centimeter square. There is a very big misconception when the patient thinks that the higher density incisions or implantation you have, the better is the result. There is one point here. The more incisions you do, there is a high chance that we can damage the vasculature or blood vessels underneath the skin. So the blood flow to the grafts will be diminished and the survival rates go down. The good technique here is appropriate density, good angle of the direction and their depth. Is your staff full of um, uh, full-time employees? Um, staff in, in Smile Hair Clinic is full-time employees because um, if we, we, we are working as a team here, not only the doctor, the surgical assistants also, so uh, all together we are giving the right technique and the right transplantation uh, to the patient as a result. So uh, we, have, we, we need to know each other for a long time. We need to do several patients and several techniques uh, that gives the full, full thing to the patient uh, because uh, whatever I do, my team should understand me and should know whatever I, I expect with the patient's operation. So it's, this is a must in every clinic. How does the hair transplantation work? With the very simple words, hair transplantation is relocating hair from back side of your head, we call the donor area or safe donor area to the open areas in the recipient zone or the areas where you have the hair loss. Is a robotic hair transfer surgery the best option? The best option or the best technique for the hair transfer surgery is the method that fits your needs the best. There isn't one single best option. Robotic hair transfer surgery has some advantage, an FU has some advantage, and an FUT has its own advantage or disadvantage. So it should be decided individually with your doctor or hair transfer surgeon. Of course, in some aspects, robotic hair transfer surgery can have some pros, like maybe a shorter period of time and more precise extraction, but with a very experienced team, we get the same results with the classic FUE method. Should you travel abroad for the hair transfer surgery? No, you shouldn't. The best hair transfer surgery is the surgery that is performed with the appropriate technique that fits your needs and the surgeon or clinic you entrust yourself. So it's an individual decision. But in the last years, most of the patients travel abroad because it's much more affordable, a better technique, and higher number of the grafts. Are you too young to have the hair transfer surgery? To be eligible for the hair transfer surgery, you should be about the age of 18 and below the age of 60. In some clinics, they can get it up to the age of 65 and above, but the decision is given individually. And the next important role is not the age, is the degree or extent of the hair loss the patient has. Will your hair transfer surgery be kept safe and private. Yes, according to the Turkish laws, we have a very strict rules for the patient privacy. Unless the patient gives his or her permission, we do not share any pictures of the patient before surgery, after the surgery, on any social media or websites. If you had a previous hair transfer surgery and not satisfied with the results, can you have another procedure. Yes, and this is called the revision hair transfer surgery. Around 10 to 18% of our patients are the patients who have undergone a surgery in other clinic and are not satisfied with the results. And we perform the procedure called the revision hair transfer surgery. There are some points we take into consideration when planning these procedures, because during the planning of these kind of surgeries, first of all, we have to fix a little bit 
all the, the aspects that the patient doesn't like from the previous surgery and get him to the point where you want to be. So the specific the revision surgeries should be done with a very, very experienced team. What is the ISHRS accreditation? ISHRS stands for International Society for Hair Restoration Surgery. It's a society that unites the hair transfer surgeons and hair transfer professionals from all over the world. Being the fellow or an associate member or member of ISHRS means high standards of quality, ethics, and professional approach. Please pay attention that your surgeons or surgical teams are members, fellows, or at least associate members of ISHRS. Can a diet of food supplements help or cure hair loss? There is a very big misconception that when the patient thinks that dietary restrictions or some other aspects is the main reason of the hair loss. It's not that very correct. Most of the time, the main reason of the hair loss in males is under genetic alopecia. In females, it's different. Of course, a deficiency of some like vitamins, minerals can make you more prone to losing your hair. We specifically see it in females, but we can also see it in males. Specifically, some thyroid diseases, iron deficiency anemias, folic acid, vitamin D deficiencies can cause a hair loss. But to decide it, whether it's a dietary reason for the hair loss, we, you need to run some blood tests to find it out. What is the body hair transplant? Body hair transplant is when, as a donor side, we use other parts of the body except the back side of the head. It can be the bird region, it can be the chest region. Some clinics offer the extraction from the legs or arms. Is there any non-surgical type of hair transplant surgery? No, there are only surgical techniques of the hair transplantation. Why you should choose Turkey for hair transplant surgery? Turkey is in the crossroads of Asia and Europe. It's a huge hub located in one of the busiest areas of the world. Also, quality of the job, affordable prices make it very attractive for the patients who look for the affordable and quality hair transplant procedures. What are the reasons for the hair loss in men? The most common cause for the males to become bald is due to the phenomenon called androgenetic alopecia. But other types of the hair loss can also be seen. Alopecia areata, scatteritial alopecia, or some chronic medical conditions or medical treatments the males get. What are the reasons for hair loss in women? Compared to males, the reasons of the hair loss in females can be really wide. It can be from dietary restrictions, from vitamin deficiencies, some hormonal disbalances like thyroid diseases or an early onset menopause. Whatever the reason is, we first have to diagnose it, treat it, the underlying condition, and only after that decide for the hair transplant surgery. For example, pregnancy or giving the birth is one of the most common reasons for females to have the hair loss. That's why we have to wait for at least 12 to 18 months after the giving the birth or delivery to decide for the hair transfer surgery or hair loss treatment. Can the artificial or synthetic hair be implanted on the open areas? No, it cannot be. Because will, your body will react with the immune response and you will have a wide variety of problems over the skin of the head. It's not healthy and it's very dangerous for general health. What's the Sapphire FUE method? Sapphire FUE technique is a type of FUE during which a Sapphire microblade is used to create a recipient site in or incisions or channels. Are there alternatives to the hair transplant surgery or are there any medical treatments for the hair loss? Yes, depending on the stage and type of hair loss you have, there can be a medical treatment for the hair loss as well. For example, for under genetic alopecia, there is a minoxyl and finasteride treatment. For other autoimmune diseases, there can be other treatment plans or if you are undergoing a chemo or radiotherapy, we have to wait for the end of these treatments and wait for the recovery of the hair follicles. Does it matter where to have the hair transplant surgery? Yes, 100%.
you should have your surgery in the places or clinics where the real doctors, real nurses and surgical assistants work. Pay attention to that you won't be in a black market clinics and have the surgery there because the outcomes of the surgeries are not that really good and you have a higher chances of the failure of the hair transplant surgery. If you have a white hair and ask us, will the transplanted hair will be white as well? The answer is yes. Because we take the hair from backside of the hair and we get it randomly and evenly, so the outlook of the donor area after the extraction looks even, the color of the transplanted hair will be exactly the same that we get from the donor area. If it's a white color, it will be the white. If it's the color of your original hair, it will be that color. What's the future of hair transfer surgery or hair loss treatment? There are many, many researches ongoing about the hair loss treatments and techniques. Nowadays, FDA approves only three types of the treatment for the hair loss. Number one, it's a medical treatment. Two medications are approved. It's minoxidil or finasteride. There are two surgical techniques, an FUE or follicular unit extraction or an FUT, sometimes called FUSS, like follicular unit strip surgery. And there are also a physical device called triple LT, low light laser treatment for the hair loss. What's the meaning of limited donor area? Limited donor area is the term used to describe an insufficient or weak donor zone. There can be many, many reasons for this one. Did the, did the patient have the previous surgery? Are there any big scars at the backside of the head? Or did the hair loss has proceeded into the donor area, creating a kind of horseshoe outlook at the backside of the head? Is the hair thin or thick? These are all the factors that describe the quality of the donor area. <music>